What's up boys and girls, Lambo here, and today I will be talking about the reasons why I was gone from YouTube for so long, and on top of that I'm gonna tell you guys about the future of this channel, what I think is gonna happen here, if I will just completely stop uploading videos or if I will continue, so enjoy. Let's start with the initial reason why I stopped uploading uh, videos, I stopped with the Kong uh, video, the, the one where I was the Kong of the qualifiers, where I got into every qualifier finals, but then barely lost, kind of choked pretty hard through games left and right. And um, the reason why I actually stopped uploading videos obviously has nothing to do with that, it's just because the first DreamHack season started. The first DreamHack is the most important one, there's three big DreamHacks over the year, and if you perform uh, well in those you make it to Katowice, so the very first one is the, the most important one because it also gives you better seating for the next ones. So I took my time, the time that I usually would use for uh, uploading videos on YouTube, um, recording them, editing them, making thumbnails and so on. I used that time to prepare for the tournament and it worked out greatly. I, I did the best I ever did, um, especially skill wise I played the best in these games as well, so I was pretty happy with that. But then after that, I did not continue uploading YouTube videos the way I did before, even though I had the time to do so. I actually took a little bit of a break to not get burnt out because I played for like a month straight without really doing anything else. And um, I, w one thing that I realized during that period of time is that I really did not enjoy making the YouTube videos anymore, which actually was different from when I started out making the YouTube videos. Now, I don't really mind the recording part, but afterwards there is an editing part which takes a lot longer for me because I'm also really not good at editing and then the, the videos need to compile or whatever it's called, encode maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I can't use the PC for anything else while that's going on as well and then I need to make thumbnails. I don't upload them which also takes some time. So basically it's a lot of time sync and I started not enjoying it anymore. And I just felt better not doing it. Like I, I just uh, felt better in the day. I, I did not really look forward to doing that. And usually I would do it in the evenings. I kind of had to, I planned it out in a way where I would always eat dinner while the videos are encoding because that shit takes forever. So um, I realized that my time was just better uh, without, without the YouTube basically. And the big reason why this was the case was because initially I realized uh, when I started the YouTube I just wanted to grow, right? I would do, I would put a lot of time and effort into it and I would hope that you guys en enjoy the videos and then I, I had hoped that over time I would maybe become as big as Harrison is right now. Uh, somewhere along those lines where I actually make money from it, without a doubt. Um, that, that was the initial plan going into it. I knew that in, in the first year, maybe even two, I would, uh, it, it, it would not be very profitable, right? especially for the for the time that I spent uh, doing it but throughout the first the the, uh, the couple of months in which I have been uploading the YouTube videos I realized that I believed that my content had a cap on it a cap on how many people would actually watch these videos and would be interested in them because I like Hirestem who's trying to make uh, I don't know like uh, I wouldn't call it comedy videos but just uh, videos that are uh, light-hearted, uh, easy to watch and are kind of aimed at everybody. My videos are mostly uh, targeted at higher level Zerg players so only players from one race really and then mostly for the higher level players that also want to improve which there are not that many because StarCraft is not that big of a game anymore. Which meant that I was searching for uh, other series that I could do like weekly, something like like the things that Harrison does. I, I will just name him as a as a, an example. There's also other StarCraft YouTubers that do this um, much better than myself. But basically, I couldn't really find any ideas that fit to myself, or I couldn't really find any good original ideas. Period. Like I, I asked uh, you guys in the YouTube comments. I, I read every single YouTube comment, by the way. There's not a single one that I haven't read. Um, I, I have a specific channel on my Discord for YouTube suggestions and I ask my Twitch it all the time and I don't think I saw a single idea where I was like oh damn okay this is this is really good this is gonna work uh, whereas for example if I when I watched the first Drank Roulette uh, episode of Hirestem I know that other YouTubers and other games did that kind of stuff as well but uh, this was the first one for Starcraft and then obviously the, the the audience can play with it as well and there is some form of competitiveness during the video as well so i i thought the the format was was genius i thought that was going to work for sure i did not see a single idea that was um, original like that 
even though it's probably he's not the first one to do it but he's the first one at least in starcraft to do it which i would like to my youtube ideas to have a similar feeling to it right so i figured that if there's a cap on my on my growth then i kind of just put a lot of time and effort into it and i don't think i will ever get any return like i, I could rather spend that extra time doing something else and i think that's part of the reason why i didn't enjoy making the videos so much anymore so uh, especially the the parts that i didn't like was like the editing part i thought of getting an editor but editors are too expensive and if i don't believe in the growth of my of my youtube channel i wouldn't mind losing money at first but eventually obviously i would like to at least break even with it and then if the growth goes further and further maybe make some money off of youtube that, that that's kind of how the plan goes but I, I can't afford an editor if i if i don't make any money off it and if i don't believe i will make uh, money from it a year from now for example so i thought about this a lot and uh, in, in the time that i took off of youtube and uh, things were clear that i i could not continue the same way that i, that I did so far so i thought about some changes that i want to make and I set some goals at the beginning of the year to see I wanted to try this for one year. If it didn't work, I would just stop doing it. The, the, the YouTube goal that I set myself, I don't think is realistic anymore. Uh, but I had a Twitch goal and I really enjoy streaming right now and the numbers are getting better and better. So instead I will focus more on that and I spent a lot of time. I obviously I stream daily in case you guys don't know, uh, probably most of you do. Um, but basically I want to focus a little bit more on that. And the way I'm going to use my YouTube from here on out will be if I find a uh, good series or something to do that I really think can work, I will put it on here and uh, I will upload and because I I hit a Twitch subscriber goal of 600, I will resume YouTube content for sure, so that should be good for you guys as well, but I do not really think that um, I'm gonna get big on YouTube anytime soon, so instead I will just focus on my Twitch, so whenever other YouTubers will say subscribe to their channel, I don't really give a shit about that anymore because I, I would rather focus on my Twitch, I will tell you instead to subscribe to my Twitch because the one goal that I set to myself for this year was actually to get above 500 subscribers without sub gifts. So I I do not want any single person to, to gift um, subs, I will just not count those and I want to be above 500 and keep that number for a little while. So that's my personal goal and I really want to hit that, so I'm going to try to push that with my YouTube. Um, but the main YouTube content for now will be videos that I think are like like one-time good videos, still mostly educational content for you guys, and I will use sub goals on my Twitch mostly um, to do those videos. Maybe I'm also gonna use sub goals on my YouTube if I, if I hit milestones to also uh, start a new YouTube series. Uh, for example, I could do it like a Terran week like I did with the Protoss week, like the ZVP, and so I can do a ZVT one that I'm probably gonna make a subscriber goal on YouTube, but most of my videos, for example, the next one that I have are 10 tips and tricks for ZVT that, that, that can easily improve your ZVT. That's going to be my next sub goal on Twitch. Just as an example, like those kind of videos I'm going to be uploading on YouTube. So it should be a lot of good content. It's going to be more quality rather than quantity. It's going to be videos that I think are going to be much better than the ones that I do every week. They also started feeling a little bit repetitive. Uh, or at least I, I, I felt like it. I'm not sure how, how you guys saw my videos, but um, at least for me, they felt a little bit repetitive if I just do the same thing every week so yeah it's gonna be less videos than the one i uploaded before basically but i think they're gonna be better and i hope you guys will still enjoy them um but for now yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about the future plans that i've uh, had um and i kind of made my mind up to exactly that so if you guys still have some great suggestions if my channel magically grows i will also start uploading more and more if i see potential in it uh, but for now I'm definitely gonna focus on my Twitch. So if you guys ever want to support me and my videos, you guys don't need to uh, donate anything. You guys don't need to sub like gift a ton of subs on my Twitch either. Uh, simply one subscription on my Twitch is the biggest support. But even if you don't do that, just watching my videos and stuff is uh, help enough. Either way, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in uh, my next video, which will be the first of the new chapter. I would I would say of my YouTube. So. See you then.